Hi everyone, this is Pamela from Pamela's Crochet and Knit Corner. Welcome to my channel. Thank you all for joining me on this, what would be here in Southern California, a very sunny Monday afternoon. It is November 25th on a Monday and I am on vacation. Actually, it's a staycation because I am not going anywhere. Um, the weather here is going to change. In a couple of days, we're expecting a lot of rain. There's going to be some snow as low as the foothills, and it's going to get weather crazy. So right now, it's about a good sunny 70 outside. I got up early this morning and ran my errands, so I'm all set to stay inside and hunker down. For those of you that are new, welcome, welcome. I so appreciate all of the new subscribers over the past couple of weeks. I am having a blast and I really enjoy being able to have this platform to share with you my makes. I am a crocheter who knits a bit. So I do both, but I'm predominantly a crocheter. I am a wife and the mother of a very grown up child, <laughs> grown up, grown up. And I live in Southern California in the Inland Empire, which is about an hour away from Los Angeles with my hubby. Um, just in case you hear any life noises, that would be him coming through the door. I did put my podcaster sign on the front door and I text him to let him know that I was podcasting. But that's life. Everything is not as quiet as we would like it to be at all times. So grab a beverage. Cowabunga, Cowabunga, I thought that was cute. I have come to share my cowls with you. Um, please note that most of these I made either a year or a year and a half ago. Whenever I get on a kick, like a beanie kick 2016, I made beanies for a whole year. Um, the summer of 2000, I think it was 17, I made bralettes and I will show you those at a different time. Um, then I made cowls. It was, I made cowls. I just made cowls. So I will tell you what tutorial I used because I'm a tutorial girl. And if I used a pattern, I will tell you that too. Now, those of you who have been with me know that I am not a techie. I still have not dipped that toe in the sand yet, but I will tell you what, uh, whose tutorial it is or where you can find it or if it was a written pattern. And I'll try to be more detailed. <gasps> what the what? I will try to be more detailed in the description box below. No links, but I will try to put more information there. So grab that pen and pad because that's what we were doing, kicking it old school and see if you wanna jot something down if you see something that you like. But again, thank you to everyone, my new subscribers, the subscribers that have been with me. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, my numbers have gone through the roof and um, I so love it. So I am collecting things I think I want to do. Should I say the G word? I'm not going to say it yet, but I will think of something so that I can give back um, to you guys. I really, really, really appreciate um, this. And I'm glad that you're enjoying my channel. Well, I want to start off with foes. I have a couple of finished objects and I want to share those with you first. So grab your beverage, get your pen and your pad ready to jot things down if you want, squish in comfortably and Let's do this. My first finish object is this. This is the Hyde Ear Warmer, and that's H-Y-D-E, by the Tipsy Hook. And I've become yarny friends with her through Instagram. This is a paid pattern, and you can obtain it on Etsy. But this is knit. And it is super cute. It was super fast to make. You knit it flat and then you join it in the back. I'm pretty proud of that join. Now you may see a ladybug dangling there. 
For those of you that don't know, I put a ladybug on everything that I make. And I was gifted some ladybugs by Kim of the Crafty Nomad. So I decided to put one on here. Like I do all of my makes, I put ladybugs on them along with my tag, but I hadn't had a chance to tag this just yet. So this is a written pattern. It is a paid for pattern. And that is the designer. And it's by the Tipsy Hook, T-I-S-P-Y-H-O-O-K. And she does have a shop on Etsy and it is a paid pattern and you can obtain it there. But this is really cute. You use um, thick yarn. This is Woolies Thick and Quick. And I mean, you can knit this in probably an hour or so. And I really like it. Really like it a lot. It's super nice. So check her out. You might want to knit up a quick headband or two for a gift for the holidays coming up. And I think Shop Small Business Day is coming up as well. So let's support our makers. My next finished object I'm pretty proud of, and it's knit as well. Um, I've never knit one before, and I'm glad that I finally found a good tutorial. This tutorial is by Bonnie Bay Crochet, and she crochets and knits. And it's a tutorial on YouTube, and I made a washcloth or a dishcloth, however you want to see it. Isn't this great? Now this is knit. I've never knit one before and I am pretty proud of this. I love it. This yarn is Hobby Lobby's cotton, which has a tendency to be a lot softer than the other cotton that I found in the stores. Uh, sugar and cream is kind of, I don't wanna say crusty, but it is a little rough. Um, this is very soft. So this is Hobby Lobby's cotton. And I love it. I didn't pull the colors. They came out just like this as I was knitting. So I'm pretty proud of that. And Bonnie Bay Crochet, her tutorial is really great. She takes you step by step by step, and that's what I need. And I love it. So I will be making more of these. My knitted dish cloth or washcloth. I'm not throwing things on the floor. I have a basket that's just below the area that I'm using. So I can just put everything in there and then put it away when I'm done. My next finished object is the Sunset Boomerang Scarf. And I know you saw a boomerang scarf previously in my other episodes, but this one is by Nikki's Homemade Crafts. And it's a tutorial on YouTube. I used a Karen cake and would you look at this? <laughs> How pretty is that? I let the colors play out. I did not cut into the cakes at all. And I added my own little twist onto it. This little pom pom. And the pom-pom is removable. If you can see that, I tied it in a bow. That way, when you get ready to wash it, you don't have to worry about it coming out looking all mangled. You just take it off and then you put it back on. But this is lovely. How about that? I love it. And it has kind of an open stitch. And these colors are fantastic. I love this. And again, I just let them play out. I did not cut into the cakes. I usually do not do that. I love seeing when another color is going to come out. So this is the Sunset Boomerang Shawl or Scarf by Nikki's 
homemade crafts. On her tutorial, she used cotton, and that's why she called it sunset, because that was the color um, that it reminded her of. This is a very nice tutorial, very quick, very easy. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have another one that's in the whip stage, um, and it's coming out really, really pretty. That's it for my finished objects. Now I have Happy Mail. And then we'll get into the cowls. Um, in 2016 is when I discovered um, the whole YouTube world and everything kind of opened up for me um, because I was crocheting off and on. And I stopped for a really long time. And then I was knitting off and on. And then I stopped for a very long time. Um, I knew nothing about circular needles, beanies, or anything like that until 2016, a friend of mine, um, she told me that she was in a group called The Hook Nook. And I thought, The Hook Nook? Okay. So Facebook, I went on to Facebook. Um, I um, asked to join, and I've been a member ever since. Jessica Carey is the founder of The Hook Nook, and for her 30th birthday, she released a line of products. I can't wait. Joann's is carrying them exclusively and they will be online at the end of this month. But I happened to go into Joann's on uh, Friday after work and I was looking for, um, I was looking for some yarn uh, for something a, a person asked me to make them something. And so then I happened to be passing an end cap and I almost screamed. This is all they had, but this is part of the Hook Nook's new line that she's coming out with everything. These are skein savers. And look at that. They're the fun little balls, you know, like you used to wrap around your hair in grade school. You wrap these around your skein to keep them from getting all raggedy and falling all over the place. But she has designed hooks, uh, a passport, a bag, stitch markers, um, bent tip um, needles, everything, everything. So this was all that they had in the store. I asked them if they were going to get more of her line and they said, maybe, maybe not because they're a very small Joann's. Have car, will drive. And I can go right over to the next city where they have a big Joann's. So I'm hoping to get a lot more things from her line but um, I was really happy to get these. They are skein savers. My next happy mail. I don't know how many of you have heard of Adela. She is an indie dyer that is just, wow. Her company is called Lola Bean Yarn Company. Um, Lola is the name of her daughter. And she has the cutest, cutest logo. Um, I was fortunate enough to get a hold of some of her Georgia peach yarn, which I will share with you at a later time. Um, I ordered it a long time ago. Um, when she said that she was going to update her website because I follow her on Instagram, I was right there poised and ready to go because I did want some more of her, um, of her products. And I really wanted to grab a pin. She is a boss. She is a bad indie dyer. Her colors, you just want to just, I mean, and she's international. Um, her yarn is all over and um, she just has some colors that are just beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. So I wanted a little notions bag and I got this. That is super cute. And this is an image um, of her. This is her logo and it represents her daughter, Lola. This is very cute. And inside is pink. It's pink. I love it. That's the notions pouch. And then I so wanted a pen. And there's the pen. And her website is up and um, she has a website. 
She is an indie dyer and a, fav a favorite of Gigi Gay Gillespie. Gigi made it. And her yarn is delicious. It's absolutely delicious. So I was happy to acquire those things. And I got this in there also too. I love that. Hello, I am worth it. We all are worth it. My, the last of my happy mail, you guys are like, whoa. <laughs> um, I saw on Z, Zelda in RJ3, hey Z, um, she had posted a couple of episodes ago um, that Amber from Ooh Ah Crochet was that she makes these bags. Z had ordered these bags from her. So I thought, oh gosh, those are cute. So I clicked on the link and I got in touch with Amber through Etsy because she has an Etsy shop. She also has a YouTube channel and that's Ooh O O H A A A H Ooh Ah Crochet. And her name is Amber. And <laughs> I love this. I don't know if you can see that, but it says hooking takes balls. <laughs> that is super cute. And this stitch marker is adorable. It spells out my name, which is really cute. So it's clear. So that way you can see what's in here, whatever you decide to put in there. And then she told me that she could print whatever you like on a bag. And I said, oh, well, do you have a pink bag? And she said, yes. So, and I also, I love the term crow knit. I don't know if I was the one to come up with that or not, but because I crochet and because I knit, I thought crow knit was cute. So I said, oh, can you put uh, Pamela's crochet and knit on the front? And then can you put crow knit on the back? And I'd like a pink one. So not only did she do that, but look at the stitch marker. The stitch marker says crow knit. I love it. And then here's the pink bag. And on the back, I don't know if I can, on the back it says crow knit. And on the front it says Pamela's crochet and knit which is the name of my little corner of the interweb. So this is super cute. Again, you can see what's in here. It's pink, one of the colors that I like. So you can get in touch with her through her Etsy shop. And that is Ooh Ah Crochet. Her name is Amber and she does have a YouTube channel as well. That is it for all of my Happy Mail. Now let's get into the cowls. Like I said earlier, once I get on a binge, I just go for it. And I do make the same cowl sometimes, but in different yarns because things look different. They act different, you know, when you use different yarns, different weights, um, things like that. So that's pretty much what I did. Um, all of these are crochet though, but knitters, come on, hang in there. Um, I watch a lot of different channels um, that aren't necessarily, you know, what I do, but it's always nice to see the different uh, makers and the different, um, the different crafts and, and how they end up uh, looking. So I have my cards here for my information because a lot of these I made a very, very long time ago. So I wanted to make sure that I gave you guys the proper information. And here we go. Right behind me is Emerald. Um, for those of you that are new to my channel, uh, if you would go look at the very first introductory video, you'll see how I came to be. I'm very lucky. Um, I had the support of Seta and um, Seta, Seta's place. Hi, Seta and Z. Um, hey, Z. Um, Zelda NRJ3, and so many other podcasters who got wind of me and shouted me out. And I, I'm, I'm honored. I really am honored. So I am doing what I want to do. And I'm glad that I pushed the button 
So here we go. I have a crew of four. This is Emerald. Um, you've met her already. Kensington, you've met him. And Windsor, you've met her. There's one more that you haven't met, and that's Cleo. But she's coming up, believe me. So this is Emerald, and she is wearing... This is not so much a cowl as an infinity scarf, okay? But if you notice, there's a twist. And it's not twisted. This is the way that you make it. You start off with that Mobius twist. And I hope it's you can see it very well. There's my ladybug. I put a ladybug on everything I make, and my tag is on here somewhere. But of course, you need a black staple in your, in your closet. There's the open, airy mesh stitch. And I love the way it hangs. It just kind of drapes and you can fix it however you want. If you want to cover it that way, even if you want to wrap it around again. This is the Easy Crochet Infinity Scarf by A New Crochet Designs. I'm sure everybody knows who Anu is, and that's A-N-N-O-O. -O. She's been on YouTube forever, and she's a prolific um, crochet designer and YouTuber. Her tutorials are awesome, and she explains everything very well. So this is her Easy Crochet Infinity Scarf, and this tutorial is from 2016. So it's January 21st, 2016. So all you have to do is go back, type in Easy Crochet Infinity Scarf once you get on her page and it'll take you right to it. This is another one. Now I like this one. Ooh, how about that? This yarn is a tea cake. The other yarn was um, Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in black. This is a tea cake, a Karen tea cake. And again, you see that twist? That's natural. That's how you do it. She has you chain how many ever you want to chain. I think I chained 140. And um, then you turn it just before you get ready to connect it. And voila. These colors are beautiful. Love them. And there is my ladybug and my tag. I love to put tags on things. It just gives everything a finished look. My tags are from All This Wood on Etsy. And look at that, how that drapes and how that hangs. Very nice. And I wear this quite a bit. Um, this has been washed. It's been put in the dryer. Um, I love it. Very pretty. Again, this is the Easy Crochet Infinity Scarf by A New Crochet Designs. This one, I don't think I followed a pattern because after a while, um, if you just chain how many ever you want, uh, slip stitch, chain up two, go into the same stitch, and then just chain, and you can either go in the back loop or go underneath the entire loop, then I did that with this. This is Wool and the Gang. And I used a big hook, and I just went... You can see where I went underneath the entire stitch is what I did instead of going through the top two here. And that one just sits just like that. And if you want something fast and chunky, there you have it, wool in the gang, or you can use any six weight um, yarn that you may have on hand. So this was just a quick one. I did this, I think about 
seven or eight months ago. And I had a black one, but I gifted the black one in a gift exchange. There's that. This one is from Bob Wilson, 123. I love Claire. I'm glad that she's taking some time off and I wish her well, um, but I, I miss her. I love all of her tutorials. Who doesn't love her accent? She's just the sweetest. Um, but this is from a long time ago also too. This is from, I think, September, 2017. It's a tutorial by her and it's called The Sampler Cowl Tutorial by Bob Wilson, one, two, three. And I think the reason why she calls it a sampler cowl is because she has you doing a lot of different stitches. Do you see the front post, back post, and then you're doing double crochets. And I think there might be some half double crochets in there as well. This is a sweet roll. You can buy sweet rolls at Joann's. You guys know I love sweet rolls. But this is nice. Um, this is this came out really good. And it, it kind of falls however you want it to fall. If you want to pull it down over your shoulders, you can. And if you want it to hang in the back, you can do that as well. Or if you wanted to drape in the front, you can do that as well. So this was nice. And this is the sampler cowl tutorial by Bob Wilson, one, two, three from 2017. So if you just type in sampler cowl, uh, when you go on to her YouTube page, then you'll, you'll find that. How cute is that? I found this tutorial I'm not really sure how to pronounce this. It's T-U-T-E-A-T-E. -E. Tutite? Tutite. I'll go with that. Um, this is also from a long time ago. This is from 2017. This is called the Quick and Easy Cowl. Now, from pretty much here on out, this was the kind of cowl that I made, but I used different yarns. This is Red Heart with Love because this is kind of thick and it's soft. It's really soft. But then they're smaller, so that way some people don't like cowls to drape down. They would rather have something to just fit right up underneath their neck. Um, I have a friend who rides a motorcycle and she asked me to make one for her and one for her significant other. And I did, but she wanted it in blue. There's the label. Here is a, another one. And if I'm not mistaken, did I double up? I did. I doubled up on this yarn. This yarn is, um, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. If you notice the lighting changed, all of a sudden it just got gray outside. So I was trying to do this during the daytime with the light, but I'm sorry. So I doubled up on this and I used a L hook and this is two colors to create the gray and black effect. But again, this is, it fits right there underneath your neck. And some people like that to where it's just right there. And that keeps you warm. And if you want, you can even pull it up, you know, over, over your nose. Uh, 
Oh, I love this yarn. Wool spun. Who said that it was okay to get rid of wool spun and replace it with that other stuff? Hmm. Um, this is the same tutorial by Tutti Tay, Quick Easy Cow. It's T U T E A T E. They just recently put up some new videos too. They hadn't put up anything in a really long time. So I'm, if I'm butchering the name, I'm really, really sorry, but um, I absolutely like um, the cowl that they did. And look at this. Now, if you notice, this is longer. This is longer than the other two that I showed you. And this is how sometimes when you use different yarns, this is wool spun. And look at those colors. Isn't that great? And you know I'm a stickler about no San Andreas fault. That is straight down the back. And there's my ladybug. And my tag is right there. It's the wooden tag from all this wood. So this one is nice as well. It's a little bit wider. And it still has that nice drape or you can pull it back and up. It can go over a turtleneck. Um, you can put your coat on and just kind of set that down over it. So sometimes a wider cowl is better depending on what you're wearing. Here is another one. And this is Oh my gosh, it's the same pattern, but the yarn, what is the one that's 80%, the Karen cake, but it's the 80% acrylic, 20% wool. That's this. This is, this is thick. It's very thick. But again, look at that back, it's straight. I don't know, I'm anal like that, it has to be straight. Um, and look at those colors, isn't that pretty? Just a mixture of greens with a touch of, no, this is all green different colors of green. And this size is just a little bit bigger than the one prior to um, the one I showed you. But this is nice and thick as well. Here's another one. And this is the same yarn, just a different color. It's a... Um, it's the Karen cake. Uh, it's the one that's the 80%, 80-20 is what it is. And the yarn is a little bit thicker. And there, what this is, but there's the back. That's straight. And there is my ladybug. And there is my tag. Again, I like this. You can throw this one on with some jeans, a uh, jean jacket, um, leather jacket, anything. You, know, you can fix it however you want. And these are very quick and easy to make. Um, that's why I made so many of them. I had a lot of that yarn and I wanted to utilize it. Uh, here is another one, but look at these colors. Same yarn, the 80-20 um, Karen, Karen cake, 80% acrylic, 20% wool. And I just let the colors play out. I don't mind the, the stoppage there. It just gives it kind of a, I don't know. I mean, it's art, you know? I look at it as art.
Again, you can wear this with some jeans or something like that. Just however you want to style it. This next one is by Yolanda Soto Lopez, the All Crafts Channel. And it is from a tutorial that she did back in probably 2016. It's called the Easiest and Fastest Crochet Cowl. And I mean, if you type that in, you can find it. And what I liked about this one is that it was a crisscross, crisscross stitch. Look at that. How about that texture, hmm? You see the crossing of the stitches? Very, very cool. This is the same yarn as the last one, um, the 80-20 Karen Cake, Karen Big Cake, I think it is. Um, look at the back. Look how straight that is. There is my ladybug. This one is big and it is, it's really thick. I mean, if you're in snow, this is the cowl for you. Um, it's just, and it can drape all different ways. Uh, you can put that on, put your coat over this part of it and then just have that up around your neck. Um, I'm pretty proud of this. Even though I did it a really long time ago, I love this stitch. See how that crosses? Love that stitch. So if you want to make this, it is the easiest and fastest crochet cowl by Yolanda Soto Lopez. Her channel is All Crafts Channel on YouTube. This is a Karen tea cake. That's what I couldn't think of. The last couple of ones that I showed you are Karen. This is a tea cake, Karen tea cakes, because those are 80-20. Ta-da! Kensington is here. And he's wearing a toque. That's what it's called. That's how it's pronounced in Canada. This toque was the one and only, I think it's her one and only tutorial by the Canadian crotcheter, Debbie. Hi, Debbie, if you're watching. Um, I think she made one and everyone was like, can you show us how you do, how you did that? Can you show us? And I love the free form pom-pom that she did. She's great. She just, she'll make any and everything and try it on. And she's so much fun. I love watching her, um, her videos. So I made this toque probably about um, a year and a half ago. And this is Woolies Thick and Quick. It was one of the colorways that they were getting rid of. And so this is super cute. I love this free form pom-pom. You know, you just kind of haphazardly wrap it. It doesn't have to be perfectly shaped or anything like that. This was made flat and seamed in the back. Can you tell, can you tell where? I didn't think so. <laughs> I'm not being, you know, whatever. I'm just happy that I was able to accomplish, you know, that. So, and there's my label, all this wood. They have circular labels, they have everything. But I also made, sorry for the squeaking. Um, Kensington is squeaky. I made this cowl to go with it from the Tutate tutorial. <laughs> And there's the back, straight, my ladybug, my tag. So if you wanna be styling and profiling, here you go.
How cute is that? Super warm, super cute, in your toque. This next one is a pattern, which I know most of you know that I am a tutorial girl. I need to see, I need to be able to stop it, go back, stop, go back, stop, go back. So I stepped out of my comfort zone on this. Um, this is a pattern from 2017. It's called the Brady Cowl. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen the Brady. There's a Brady beanie. There's a Brady bun beanie. Um, these are all designed by Hooked Up Crochet. And it is a paid pattern. And you can find it on Etsy. Again, this was from 2017. I'm pretty sure she still has it up, but this one, the pattern, there's nothing wrong with the pattern, okay? It was me, so I got pushed way out of my comfort zone, but it came out good. I made this beanie. You, I showed you this in Beanie Mania, um, but watch. This is the Brady. <sighs> Look at that texture, guys. Look at that. All of those are puff stitches. And then, if this is black, right here is what's called, I think it's an extended single crochet, no herringbone double crochet is what that is. And I had never done anything like that, but this is, it's great. And this yarn is, um, oh, I got it from Joann's. I think it's the, um, I was saying it wrong last time where I said one pound. It's just the pound, not pound of love, but it's just the one pound um, in the variegated. Watch this. Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking. Look at that. How cute is that? Awesome set. So, and then you know, this beanie is a new crochet design. It's her three-in-one beanie. Um, I showed you these in my last episode. That's my go-to beanie. This is crochet. Everything that I showed you um, in the cowl form is crochet. So this is crochet. And look at the way that she has you do the puff stitches kind of sideways. It took me a minute to get used to that. And then I made, this is the last one, I made one more. I used a yarn from Hobby Lobby. It's called Yarn Bee, and I don't remember the name of it because it was in a cake, but boom. How about that? And this is the Brady also too. The Brady Cow by Hooked Up Crochet, and she does have an Etsy shop. Those colors are just wow. And I just let the colors play out. However they came out of the cake, I just kept on going.
there's my ladybug and there's the back. I don't know what issues I had here, but um, there's that herringbone double crochet. Sorry for squinting. Look at that. And I have to say, I don't think I will make these. Uh, this really challenged me. I mean, really, really challenged me. But look at that. I mean, wow. If you had on like a mustard colored jacket or a dark green jacket, even a purple jacket, that would just make that pop. So, um, yeah. So that's my cowl, Abunga. Um, I am working on a knit cowl. Uh, that was one of my other things that I wanted to accomplish was actually knitting a cowl. I've never knit a cowl before. So I do have that in whip form and I do have lots of whips. Um, I'm working on, um, I'm doing this scrapping it up, scrapping it up with DOY Creation 7. If you guys aren't watching her channel, you should be. She is a prolific um, crochet designer um youtuber she designs jewelry she has a line of jewelry called soul fly wire and um, she does everything um, and she's been on youtube for quite some time her name is jeanette also known as soraya she has sunday lives sometimes so um go check her out it's d o y creations seven the number seven and go check her out um I have a blanket. Now I make blankets too. Um, most of them have been gifted. Um, I do have the blanket that I made my husband about 11 years ago. It is held up wonderfully. I use Karen Simply Soft. But right now I'm scrapping it up with DOY, um, DOY Creation 7 um, using our scraps. And I have a beautiful blanket um, that's going on. Um, and I will show that um, in my next episode as well. I just put all of my four weight yarn into a project bag and I just reach in and pull out and attach it and I just keep going. So since it's getting ready to be cold here, cold California style, then I will pull it out again because now it's big and it's all over my body and it's so hot. So I had to stop working on it. Um, we got cool a cool spell for a minute and now it's back hot. So when the weather changes, I will start working on it. I wanted to say thank you wholeheartedly again to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you for liking my content. Thank you for all of your uh, comments. Um, everybody has been very positive. I'm here in a positive space. Um, I'm just sharing with you what I make and what I do, and I am totally loving it. So again, take the time out for self-care and um, relax your hands. These are lethal weapons of making. So relax those hands, get one of those squish balls, soak your hands in some warm water, throw in some of your favorite bubble bath and just kind of play around in that, you know, and take care of those hands so that you can keep on creating. Um, if you celebrate the holidays, um, happy Thanksgiving to you. Um, I know the holidays are a very hard time for some people, so um, I'm always mindful of that. So whatever you choose to do on that day um, and in the days ahead, um, I hope all goes well for you and that you will be blessed um, and that you will just have a great time and a great day. Every day that we wake up is a blessing and um, I truly do not take um, any of that for granted. Um, a little life tidbit, which I haven't done in a while, and then I'll let you guys go. You know, I love music. Those of you that are new, I love music. And there's nothing better than a live concert. For the past four years, at the end of November, I kick off my birthday month. Yes, my birthday is next month. Ugh. Ugh. I kick off my birthday month because this, I, it's a, it's a show. They come here once every year. They tour, they start touring, and then by I think by Christmas they're done. Um, 
look them up on YouTube and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's called trans, and that's not the way they mean it, Trans Siberian Orchestra, T-R-A-N-S, Siberian, S-I-B-E-R-I-A-N, okay? And it's not meant to be um, anything other than the, that's the name of the orchestra. And they actually do transfer from, don't let the word orchestra fool you. Please don't. Um, they transfer from being an orchestra and actually giving you a Christmas show to an all out rock fest, pyrotechnics, screaming guitars. It's awesome. And I can't wait. I can't wait. I go see them now. This will be my fourth or fifth year. Um, I have my ticket and um, my sister surprised me. My younger sister, she's a grown up. Um, she is going to go with me. So I will be looking forward to that. That is Saturday night. And that's where I will be um, enjoying their show. They're debuting a new show uh, this year. So um, go on YouTube and look up TSO, Trans-Siberian Orchestra, and you'll see um, what I'm talking about. So I hope that everyone enjoys your week and your weekend leading up into the um, the holidays. And I'm not a shopper. I don't get caught up in the shopping craze. I don't like crowds. Um, so I will just hunker down here and uh, finish some of my whips and watch YouTube and see if I'm inspired to work on something um, different. I'm not too sure. And I wanna get over to Walmart and see what they have in the yarn section, just out of curiosity and just do yarny things, you know, in my home. So again, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate all of the love and um, channel support. And I will see you guys soon. Have a good evening or a good day. Bye for now.